<laughs> We're going to begin um, fairly much straight away. Um, and for those of you who haven't met me or have just recently met me, my name's Lauren, which doesn't really matter too much, but I tend to teach with the phases of the moon. So at the moment, we've just passed into a uh, the third quarter moon phase, which is actually more of a yang time for action. So whenever there's a yang phase in the moon cycle and we're doing yin, I like to just kind of encourage you to push beyond those limits where maybe you've been a little bit more passive. It's that time of giving back. So we're using more action than maybe just kind of feeling like we're falling asleep in the pose. The sequence that I've structured today is around emotional well-being. So there's five meridians that are associated with five negative emotions and those emotions I feel like I've experienced all of them in the last couple of days and um, it's one of those things where you can be feeling super balanced and super in the flow and then something changes and it feels like it sets off all your emotions so those negative emotions that I'm talking about um, First one is fear, so irrational fear. And then there's sadness and grief. There's anger. There's overexcitement. So the overexcitement one is when, it's not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it means that we're not actually at rest and content. And then the last one is worrying. So excessive worry. So if any of those emotions have come up for you recently or you keep getting this recurring emotion that you struggle to move through, I'll talk you through each pose that we go into that's associated with the meridian and the emotion. So the essence of the practice will be to move the energy through those areas. If you get a lot of sensation in them, just be, I encourage you to be the witness instead of thinking that you've got all of these bad things inside of your body. We, most of us experience all of these kinds of things. So our first pose today will be, uh, it's, called broken wing pose but it may also be known to you as a lying chest opener so no props required for this first one come to lie on your belly and then extend your left arm out parallel so that the shoulder wrist and hand are in line and your right hand comes underneath the armpit on the other side. So if I was to show you what the other hand looks like, it would be like that underneath your right armpit. And then you gently start to roll on to your left arm. So roll yourself open. Using a bit of strength from your right hand. And you may choose to bend your top leg or have both knees bent or both legs straight. And just in terms of being able to talk to you, I'm going to do the other way. Lying chest opener is related to the lung meridian. And the lung meridian in Chinese traditional medicine is related to the emotion of sadness and grief. So if you've had any of those kinds of emotions come up recently with maybe things that are happening currently in the world. Perhaps it's even closer to home with you, with your relationships. Doesn't matter 
when this emotion comes up and it doesn't matter how big or small you feel it is, just acknowledge that you may have had this feeling. There's nothing right or wrong with it. Often when we start to acknowledge the feeling, it allows it to pass a little bit more quickly. And instead of attaching to those feelings of sadness and grief, just let them pass. Maybe there's significant sensation into the front side of the shoulder. Maybe it feels more of an, a direct emotional response from you. You may feel sad, that's okay. It's also okay if you don't feel sad. We all go through things at such different times and we experience them in different ways as well. If it feels comfortable for you, close your eyes down and allow yourself to be still in your practice. If your mind keeps getting distracted, gently bring it back to focus on your breath. Take a chance to even witness how your breath rhythm is this morning. Do you notice freedom or does it feel a little bit constricted and irregular? Throughout your practice, Try and smooth out your breath. Gently start to roll down onto your stomach. And just take rest with both arms resting next to you. And turning one cheek on the mat. Turn your other cheek onto your mat. If you are following me from the beginning, now you'll extend your right arm out. I'm going to just turn to the other side so I'm not facing the back. You'll extend your right arm out. Your left arm comes underneath the armpit. And then you gently start to roll yourself open to rest on your right arm. So it's opening up the anterior shoulder, the front side of the shoulder. So at the moment, I just have both knees bent. You can have them straight or you can choose to roll open depending on the intensity that you're needing this morning. Sometimes we don't know what we need and it can be nice to be told. 
But in these classes, I really like to encourage you to be your own guide to the amount of effort that you put in. So remembering if you feel like you haven't been pushing or moving forward a lot lately and feeling a little bit stagnant, it can be nice to move into a pose with a little bit more intensity. And I don't mean pushing to the point of pain or pins and needles, but I just mean you just going to your very edge, that place where you're feeling sensation maybe where it feels even a little bit uncomfortable when you get there say when you find your stillness evening out the breath equal flow in and equal flow out. Closing the eyes down if it's comfortable for you. To allow your practice to be just that bit more internal. Instead of focusing on all the external stimulus that comes in through the eyes. And even though we may be relaxed, still requires processing when our eyes are open. And the chances that you get to shut the eyes down, try and do that. Release any contraction in the legs and feet. And even though there's some effort required in the upper body, see if you can relax a little more into your hands and your shoulders. Your neck, your head. Let it feel nice and heavy and relaxed. Three more slow and steady breaths. Feeling the abdomen move away, expand on inhale. And the exhale, feel the gentle contraction of your navel pulling towards the spine. Slowly and as gracefully as possible, start to roll yourself back onto your stomach. You can choose whether you place your hands next to the side to release or whether you keep the forehead on the backs of your hands. Try and intuitively feel into what your body needs this morning particularly in these transition poses or rest poses. The counter poses that we do in between where we rest is really essential for the hydration of the muscle tissue. Make sure even here that you're trying to have more space between your thoughts less contraction in the breath, in the physical body, and in the mind.
Gently place the hands next to your chest. Push up into a tabletop position. And then our next pose is Anahatasana pose or melting heart, which is often how it's called in most yin classes. I'm going to use two blocks for this, but if you don't have blocks and would prefer to use a cushion, that's also most welcome. If you don't have blocks or cushions, it's accessible without the props. So this next posture is around the heart meridian. So it's like the governing kind of meridian and it's really a priority um, to start to harmonize that overexcitement. So if we're really excited and motivated all the time, our heart isn't at rest and we're not actually at this level of contentment. So let's move into the posture with that intention to try and feel a little bit more content, try and have some more calmness in the mind, body and soul. So if you've got props, place your forearms on the props and the hands sort of touch down onto the mat and then your knees you want to move them back so that your hips are not moving all the way to your heels but you start to melt the heart down towards the mat if you don't have any props without the props exactly the same so you're just walking your hands out you're letting your hips stay high if this is really challenging for you just to have the head and heart melting down remember to get creative with your props or whatever you have at home near you you may even use a block underneath the head here Switching back to the blocks underneath the forearms. Hopefully, the last minute or so, you've found that place that feels like the place of stillness for you while still getting a decent amount of sensation to the front side body. The heart meridian runs from middle of the armpit to the little finger so feel into that when you're resting in your pose this morning trying to calm any over excitement that may be present within yourself or even around you And as always, trying to make your breath nice and even and steady. No pauses in the flow of the breath. And allow your mind to follow the breath and not the other way around. Often when our mind is so distracted and unfocused or even overexcited, that can reflect in our breath rhythm. It can be quite shallow and into the chest, upper body breathing, which is engaging of our sympathetic nervous system. But in order to activate our rest and digest system, we need to breathe all the way into our abdomen, deep belly breathing. And you may notice the slower that you breathe the more relaxed you become in your posture. 
and naturally you start to move deeper into your yin pose. Few more breaths here and if you need to move out of the posture at any point if it's too intense just come out and rest feel like you always need to push through to check in whether it's the ego motivating your movement or whether it's intuitively feeling like you need to move through some intensity Wherever you are, start to walk your hands back in towards you and just take a moment's rest sitting on your heels. The palms rest face up so there's no engagement in the upper body. So allowing that rest in between Start to hydrate the muscle tissue. We're essentially doing acupressure for our joints in these poses. So we place compression in specific points in the body. And then when we release, it allows all the fluid to move back into the joint. Steady mind and steady breath. Notice whether any of those emotions that we spoke about have shifted since the beginning of practice. Sadness and grief. And overexcitement. Have any of those emotions present? It's a chance to just check in with how you're feeling physically, emotionally, and mentally. Gently start to open your eyes and come into a wide legged pose. It's called dragonfly. So open your legs as wide as you can, but without feeling like it's a strain or a real pull on the legs. So open them to their capacity this morning and have with you close by either a bunch of cushions or blocks. I find that props in this pose can be really beautiful. So the meridian associated with dragonfly pose is the liver meridian. And the emotion associated with that is anger. And I think most of us can experience some form of anger or frustration. It may come up in different ways for us. Um, but if that is something that is a little bit more predominant at the moment, this is a really great posture to start to open up the channels in the body um, associated with that liver meridian that starts to kind of detox and let energy flow through that area. So the spot for that is from the toes and it runs inside the legs and it comes up the side of the body and rests underneath the rib points. So if you can stay here, you may feel like your body is ready to start to walk forward. So you want to feel like your pelvis is tilting forward. If you struggle with this already, Perhaps a good suggestion is placing a cushion or a blanket underneath your feet. And then start to walk your hands forward. I like to have a block close by for here. Particularly if you are flexible and can get down quite 
far, it's actually quite nice to have a cushion either pressed up against your pubic bone and you're lying over it, or even a block here so that there's more rounding in the spine to create more space. And finally, let yourself come to that place where you're getting enough sensation but that you can also remain in a place of stillness. The palms resting face up, if possible, just to ensure that you're being as passive as you can in this posture. Let your hips and your seat feel nice and planted and grounded on your mat. And let yourself surrender in this posture, trying to harmonize the liver meridian. And when this meridian has stagnant energy, it can manifest in anger, frustration or irritability. So with each breath, try and feel a level of calmness, steadiness in the flow of the breath. You may even wish to visualize the breath moving up and down the liver meridian channel. So from the big toe to the inside of the ankle, inside the legs, the thighs, running upside the groins on both sides and resting just underneath your ribs. Let the mind follow the breath. If the mind gets a little bit distracted or has a lot of thoughts going on at the moment, bring it back to the cadence of your own breath. With each inhale, breathe in the sense of self-love. And with each exhale, let go of that which does not serve you. Toxic emotions, toxic thoughts. Perhaps it's triggered by toxic relationships or environments or food. Breathe in self-love and let go of anger, frustration or irritability. Just acknowledge that it's there, but don't attach to the emotion. You are not your anger. 
related tune and balance going on in the mind, body and soul. And just so gently start to walk your hands back in towards you. Nice and slow. Just so we don't shock the nervous system. So the connective tissue takes a long time to contract and expand as to why we need to be really gentle moving into a posture and why we need to be gentle moving out of a posture. So just take rest for a moment. Perhaps the eyes are closed down. Remembering that we're placing our attention to our breath. We're trying to be the stillness amongst the movement, the ever-changing that goes on around us. Our next pose is half butterfly so I'm not going to be mirroring you but I'm going to bring my right foot in my left leg is directly in front of me or just out slightly if you're on your lengthways of your mat it shouldn't kind of go beyond your mat as we'd kind of progress into another pose then but the inside of the right foot is gently against the inside of your left thigh and if you've got any hip difficulties or tightness you can always place a cushion or a block underneath your right knee just to help there or as I like to practice with this I like to have a block so that when I start to fold forward that my head can rest on the block and I can find that place of stillness. So take the next few moments to find what position is going to be most comfortable for you. And remember that we spend a couple of minutes, about three to five minutes in each posture. So you've got time to find what works for you. If you find that that changes within the few minutes that you need to adjust your block or your cushion, feel free to get creative. So this half butterfly posture is related to the irrational fear emotion, which is linking to the kidney meridian. And when we think about everything that's quite current at the moment, there's a lot of irrational fear that is going on and it doesn't mean that it's all unnecessary and that we shouldn't be worrying at all but so often we can we can feel okay in ourselves, and then we get tied into all of this other fear that's going on around us so it's so important to start to harmonize that irrational fear that might be stirring or getting lodged within our deeper and more subtle tissues of the body. So when you're here, see if you can start to really feel that sense of calmness and really try to focus your awareness on your breath and smoothing out the inhale and exhale. So 
relax the left leg. And let the right knee relax. This is a great pose to open the left hamstring, the right hip. And the lower and upper back. Mind follows breath, and the breath is steady and calm, slow and deep, breathing in through the abdomen, feeling the ribs expand. You may even feel your belly touching onto the left thigh. A gentle compression, which is really soothing for the nervous system. Start to walk your hands back in if you're folded down. Nice and slowly coming back up to center. Remember to be gentle with your body. Doesn't mean that we don't experience intensity, but we need to be gentle and more loving in so many areas in our life be a really nice way to practice in our yoga class. Before we come to the other side, just bring both knees to bend, both feet on the floor and bring the hands behind you and we just move in and out of a windshield wiper movement to break up any intense sensations that may have come up in the last couple of postures into the hips into the spine. You may wish to turn your head in the opposite direction of the knee. A couple more times. to the other side so extend your right leg out straight in front of you or just slightly to the side and then the left sole of the foot comes to the inside of your right thigh and if you've got your props close by it may be a similar variation that you did on the first side you may notice that you're more open on this side so whether you need the prop underneath the knee whether you need a big cushion along 
your right leg, which you can fold over. Just find that place of sensation where it feels like you could be there for a little while. It may not be the most comfortable, but remember in this third quarter moon phase that we're trying to move and give back. It's that time of a little bit more action than being super, super passive. So let's start to fold into the pose. Relax both feet, both legs, the upper body and spine. Be as relaxed as it can be. We're not trying to go so deep that you start to contract in the body. As soon as you start to contract in a lot of the big muscles in the body, it takes away from the point of compression, of healthy compression that we're looking for. So in this pose, that's in the left hip, the right hamstring, and the lower and upper back. And the kidney meridian. So it runs from the bottom of the feet, inside the ankle, the leg, inside the thigh as well. And it comes up the front side of the abdomen and it rests and ends just underneath the clavicle bone. So all meridians have a paired meridian that's more yang in nature. So we're using all of the yin meridians today that run up the body and then all of the yang meridians run down the body. It's not always so much as needing to be educated on everything that we're doing in a class. But it can be nice to have some level of understanding of why we, why we might be doing a posture or an intention that you can bring into the posture. Trying to harmonize irrational fear. And you let your right lower back relax a little more. Let your seat feel nice and heavy. Hands relax. Eyes are closed down. And the breath is steady and calm.
slowly start to walk your hands back in, allowing your torso to come back up, moving gently your body, breath and attitude. If you've got any props, just move them to the side. Before we move on to our belly, you may just want to do that windshield wiper action again where the hands come behind you and then you just let the knees fall one way and then the other. Now let's come to lie on our stomach for Sphinx Pose. Sphinx Pose, bring the elbows under the shoulders. The legs are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And if this already is far too intense for you, just bring the elbows a little bit further forward of the shoulders. So we can kind of gauge the intensity here of how much we relax into the shoulders. We can place no emphasis in engaging the shoulders and that kind of takes the stress out of the lower back. If you notice, if you roll the shoulders down, not engaging into the glutes. This can provide a beautiful compression into the lower back. And for this one, I think most of us have experienced at some point, and it's the emotion of excessive worry or overthinking. And this is related to the spleen meridian. which is paired with the stomach meridian. Like I was saying before, the spleen meridian runs up from the toes, side of the legs and the front side of the body towards the armpits. The stomach meridian actually runs from the inside of the eyes, down the sides of the neck, all the way down the body. Here, gauge your own intensity. Do you want more intensity here if even the arms being here isn't enough? You may wish to bend your knees and notice how that feels in your body. So every time you adjust, it's a chance to reflect Check in with how your body's turning up today. And just roll with that. There's no point in kind of thinking about how we were maybe a year ago or where, or where we want to be. We need to meet ourselves exactly where we're at today, which is usually a reflection of our most recent encounters. So whether it's been with work, with family, just other daily routines. And usually how your body responds or reacts in a pose, whether it's tight or open. Notice that if we go on a holiday and we come back, usually a practice feels easier or we feel more open and it's because we've actually allowed our body to rest. So here, just try, feel into the sensation of calming down excessive worry or overthinking. Feel your breath rhythm against the mat. 
gentle massage of the colon, really, really calming for the nervous system. Still like to be in a more intense version of this posture. There is seal. So you bring the hands just out to the side, roughly around the edges of the mat, and you can push up into seal. But the main point here, we're not engaging into the glute muscles. We're nice and relaxed. You may even wish to rest your head down. You could rest your head on a block. And if your elbows are still down on the mat, just know that that's okay for you as well. Just meet yourself exactly where you're at this point. to close down. Follow the movement of the breath. The regular, slow and calm breath you're intending to have each pose and each transition. your hands or elbows are away from underneath your shoulders for less intensity. So you still need more intensity. You start to walk the hands in just a little bit closer. Just know at any time that if you know a variation that works for you and it hasn't been demonstrated, Always feel comfortable to move into that. Take three more breaths here. intention to harmonize over thinking, excessive worry, harmonize the spleen meridian. Nice and slowly start to lower yourself down towards the mat. Just for a moment in this resting pose, Bring your hands on top of each other and let the forehead rest on the top of the hands. The legs completely relax. Just observe any sensations in the back, in the front side body. There may be warmth or tingling. sense of shifted energy in the spine. Now for our final resting pose, Shavasana, come to lie on your back unless you feel super comfortable lying on the front side body you're more than welcome to stay there otherwise shavasana you're just lying on your mat feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart the palms resting face up next to your body allow the shoulder blades to hold down the back and if you need to get any 
anything that keeps you warm in your Shavasana or comfy, by all means, get your cushions, blankets, socks and jackets. And then allow your eyes to close down. Allow your body to completely surrender here. Before you let go any control of the breath, take three conscious breaths together. Inhale, you fill the belly. As you exhale, navel falls gently towards the spine. Sense of letting go and surrendering. Go of the control of your breath. Feel into a sense of gravity pulling you closer towards the mat and the earth. towards your mat. Imagine yourself melting and resting in full of light. Bring your awareness to your environment, familiarity of your body resting on your mat, starting to deepen your breath, both the inhale and exhale. Inhale, feel as though you direct awareness of your breath down to the hands and the feet. Start to make some small movements. Gently waking up each cell of the body. And roll to your side. Just take rest preferably on your right side, just to not shock the nervous system. Just take a couple of breaths. Slowly start to push yourself back up to your comfortable seated position. And when you get there, Again, let the eyes just close down. Bring your hands to heart center. And take a moment to reflect on how you feel now, having moved in the direction of assisting our emotional well-being.
just clearing any stagnation of fear, worry, anger, sadness, and overexcitement. On the next breath in, visualize the breath moving in through both nostrils and out through both nostrils. In through both nostrils and out through both nostrils. Start now to just briskly rub the palms together, building heat into the hands. When you've created enough energy there, place the palms over the eyes. When you feel ready, start to gently blink the eyes open to receive the warmth and to kindly let the senses come back into the world. Bring your hands back down to heart center. Take a moment of gratitude for turning up this morning for practicing with me thank you for your time and energy namaste